Hi, you guys. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, my previous video was kind of long and, you know, um, so I'm going to cut to the chase. A couple of things. Number one, if you did a search on pancreatic cancer on YouTube and you landed here, um, there's a reason you landed here. Um, I'm really sorry. If you or a loved one are going through pancreatic cancer, me too. I was diagnosed a couple weeks ago, all right? So you're not alone. Um, please feel free to leave a comment um, and I will respond, okay? Tell me your story. And uh, I want to try to build a small community on here so we can encourage each other. And the reason for me doing these YouTube videos is I want to document um, information, like to give you guys information of what I'm going through. Excuse me. All the testing, all, you know, my symptoms, the previous video had to do with my symptoms. Um, it's kind of a big deal, right? I mean... This is like my life, right? Now, it's it's hard going on YouTube and putting your, your real life out there, right? So anyway, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, now, number two, um, the intros might be a little bit long and I might be adding... A little bit of humor, a little bit of levity, because I don't want to sit here and, you know, I don't, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to have a white lab coat on. We are going to do an endoscopic ultrasound and we are going to go through your stomach lining and take several samples out of this, out, uh, you know, and no disrespect. One of my best friends was from India. So <laughs> if I add, a, if I think I'm funny. But if I, if I add a little bit of humor, it's kind of for me to keep this thing light, right? It's psychology. And if I can, if I can add a little bit of levity or if I can make one person smile a little bit, then this whole thing is worth it. If I can encourage one person all of this is worth it. I'm going to be adding some interesting things in the intro, like, like right now. I don't know if you noticed, but the microphone matches the hat. I don't know if you noticed that. I can change the color on my mic because it's fancy. Um, you might be wondering, what's, what's up with all the horns? Well, guess what? I play all those horns. Okay. Um <laughs> My plan is, I hope, and I'm going to be real, if I, if I survive pancreatic cancer, I plan on retiring in two or three years, going on the road in my 30-foot trailer, full-time, on the road, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, Wyoming, Colorado. I'm going to sit in the middle of the desert... And I'm going to record a brass quartet. Me playing different horns. Okay, it's just me. All, all of them are me. Is that, is that narcissistic? I don't think so. But here's the thing. I'm going to publish the sheet music so that junior hires, kids just starting out on horns, can play along with my band. How cool would that be? They can practice, right? Right? By the way, the name of the band is NQRB, the not quite right brass, because yeah, we're just we're just not quite right. <laughs> okay, so that was like four years ago. And by the way, the, the timpani that I was hitting was imaginary. I 
I put an image in there so I it looks like I'm hitting something. But um, now here's the thing, you guys. I'll be sharing like parts of me. All right. Um, and this is partially, you know, for my kids. Uh, this is stuff that they maybe didn't know about me. And so I'm sharing, you know, this is like real life. Um, so anyway, blah, blah, blah. So let's, <clears throat> what's happened so far. So I started having symptoms like three months ago. And I'll leave a link to the previous video at the end of this one, what my symptoms were. Watch for these symptoms, you guys. If you have these symptoms, please, please get to a doctor like right away. All right. Don't let it go. All right. Now, it's uh, March 2nd. February 11th, like, I don't know, three weeks ago. I started having symptoms, so I called. I did a virtual visit with a doctor. Um, and I was on my webcam, and, you know, I explained my symptoms. She's like, whoa, whoa, we need you in here tomorrow. Like, tomorrow. I'm like, uh, okay. And so um, I, I did the virtual visit February 11th. Uh, the next day, I did this office visit. They took all my vitals, right? Your height, your weight, your blood pressure, you know, which was high. Um, they did a bunch of lab work. They took, you know, they took blood and uh, UA in corrections. I work in corrections. Uh, UA, urine analysis, right? They did all that. The same day, they scheduled me for a CT scan, CAT scan, all right? It's x-rays. It's a big thing that rotates around, but it's x-rays. The MRI is magnetic, which is a whole different thing, right? So, and they injected dye into my system. And uh, they said, just so you guys know, if you go in for a CT scan and they're, they said, we're going to do the dye thing. They said, you know, it's going to feel weird. Your body's going to feel warm. And you might have like a metallic taste in your mouth. I'm like, well, that's interesting, which I did, you know. And so they did the CT scan. And um, they, we got those results like immediately. So she's like, all right, here's what's going to happen. We're going to schedule you for um, an endoscopic ultrasound, which was surgery. It's a big deal. I needed to have like I, an Uber driver dropped me off. That's a whole nother weird story. I left both my phones in the Uber, my personal cell and my work cell in the Uber. Um, he ended up bringing it back like at seven o'clock at night. And, you know, I gave him a $20 tip. And anyway, so... You need to have someone pick you up. This was like surgery. They knocked me out. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So they put in, just so you guys know, they put in an, an IV and they're like, and they rolled me on my side, which I thought was interesting. You know, I'm in this like surgical gown, which is a whole nother story. It's like, it was so confusing and I'm in this room and I took the curtain aside and I'm like, um, excuse me. And a nurse is like, uh, can I help you? And I'm like, this is confusing. Can you help me put this on? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I know I get it. So she got me into the gown. They rolled me on my side an IV with the anesthesia. Okay. Count backwards from 10. I'm like, well, can I tell you a couple jokes instead? So it's like, yeah, my girlfriend said she would meet me at the gym, but she never showed up. So I don't think we're going to work out. And the doctor and the nurses all laughed. <laughs> and then I'm like, so one of my best friends is an attorney. Do you know what his favorite cocktail is? It's the subpoena colada. And I was out. The subpoena colada. All right. So I was out. I didn't feel a thing. 
endoscopic ultrasound. They went down through my esophagus into my stomach. They punctured the, the wall of the, the, the stomach wall, went into the tumor on the pancreas. They took out five samples with this needle. And so um, we're waiting for the biopsy results on Monday. I'll shoot a video after I get uh, next week. You guys, I put everything on my calendar. Uh, next week is going to be super busy. I'll shoot another video. I've got everything on my calendar. Uh, but so that's what I've gone through so far. All right. Symptoms, virtual visit. She's like, get your butt in here. Testing, lab work, CT scan endoscopic ultrasound all right so far it's been just fine i'm okay with all of it nothing was uncomfortable or any of that so anyway you guys um if you're going through this or you know i don't know where you are in your journey but i'm just kind of like starting mine right now so um yeah um I'm not going to apologize for the long intro, like the, the humor, because it helps me keep it light, right? And if, if it makes anybody smile or whatever, you can think I'm goofy, uh, you know, whatever. So anyway, thanks, you guys. Leave a comment if you want to. All right, bye.